Here's an interactive channel plane idea that allows your community to take a screenshot of something going on in your stream, then it credits them and posts it to your Discord. Check it out. Hi everyone, my name is Viri of Ash and I have been a content creator for almost four years now. And one of my most favorite things to do is offer very cool and fun ideas and teach people how to do those things for their streams, for their content, just to upgrade and make everything a little bit more fun in case you don't know how to do it. And if you liked this video or it's helping you out with your next stream, make sure to like, subscribe, and also give me a comment if there's something else you want me to teach. For this example, I'll be using Twitch. All you have to do is head into the channel points and redeem, take a picture and this is what happens. In order to do this, you're going to need a few things installed on your computer and ready to go. First off, we're going to need OBS Studios and Streamer.bot, and then you're also going to need to install a plugin for your OBS Studios called Freeze Filter. So let's start off with where you should get your plugin. This is OBS Project, and this is where you're going to need to get the Freeze Filter plugin for your OBS Studios. Just head on over to the download button on the right hand side and download this and then reboot your OBS Studios. Once you're back in OBS Studios, we're going to build a scene that you want to be captured by the screenshot. Something to note with the way I'm going to be teaching you today is I'm building a scene that I have all of these different things that I want to be happening in the captured screenshot itself. And then I'm going to be creating another scene referencing that whole scene. The reason why I'm doing this is that that screenshot is going to grab what's in the scene. It's not going to grab the individual sources. So since I'm looking to capture more than just my camera, I actually want to have words on the screen showing who captured this entire screenshot, or I might even add in my own green screen effects. I need to reference an entire scene so that everything gets captured in the screenshot and not just one individual source. The very first thing we're going to add is a text source. So in order to do this, just hit the plus button at the very bottom. And then you're going to scroll up and you're going to look for text or GDI plus. From here, just name this something that you're going to easily remember so that you can reference this later on in the video. Go ahead and write what you think you want this to say, including like, let's say captured by, and then just put your username for now, just to see spacing. Just go ahead and type in what you're looking for in this box so that way we can just play around with sizing and see how it looks. We can go ahead and add other green screen effects. Like let's say since it's the season, you could add something where it green screens some snow or makes it seem a little more festive whenever someone takes the picture. In order to add any other green screen effects, you just have to go down to the plus button again, and then you can go ahead and add different images, different media sources, whatever you're looking for, for this to be something a little more special or unique to your stream in specific. And all I need to do is go into filters and add a chroma key if this has a green background and I'm looking to take out that green background for this video. So here's an example of what your scene is going to look like once you bring it in. You're going to have your camera under sources and then you're also going to have your nested scene reference or to make this simpler, you're just going to have your text here, the text plus that we added a little bit earlier in the video plus whatever green screens you're looking to add. All you need to have is whatever you're referencing within this screenshot. And then we're going to take all of this and reference this in another source. So that way when the screenshot is captured, it doesn't just capture my camera, it captures everything else we're looking for too. The only reason I have my display capture in here is for recording purposes. So don't add this unless you're also looking to capture your gameplay or something going on on your computer screen. Make sure to go ahead and delete any text that we added in the text source earlier. So that way we can add the text properly and it automates who is going to be displayed in that text box going forward. Now just come to this bottom left corner, click plus and add a new scene. And this one is going to be whatever we want to capture for our screenshot. So you can just name this something as simple as screenshot channel redemption. Once you've made this extra scene, you're just gonna come into sources, add the plus button and then click scene. We are looking to reference the one we just made. So that way it picks up the right images and everything that you just created. Once you've added this, you should see the entire scene that you've built and it is all in one spot. So you can actually see the individual sources. They're all lumped together, just like you created a group or put everything into a file. So I also need to add this plugin that I talked about earlier, the freeze filter. This needs to be added in on your source that you want to freeze the entire screen of. So that way it can capture the picture or the image a little bit easier, or if you just want it to be something that's displayed on your stream live, so that way everyone else can see what was pictured as well. So in order to add this filter, right click on your source and then click into filters 
and hit this little plus button at the bottom left hand corner. From here, you are looking for the freeze filter effect. Go ahead and name this whatever you'd like. And from here, I did not mess with any settings. You are more than welcome to. This just adds a lot of different stuff that you can do. Oh, I genuinely just had to stop streaming and re-record myself because I used this freeze filter and I had it on and I thought my entire OBS froze and I was wrong because it was just working like it was supposed to. So for now, just go ahead and hide the effect on this filter and don't mess with any of the settings unless you're looking to do something a little more advanced or play around with it later. Once you've built everything over here, all we have to do is head on over to streamer.bot and from there we can build everything we need in order to make this channel point redemption. In streamer.bot, we need to build this action so that way it references every single step that we're doing. And then from there, we can go ahead and start triggering it and testing everything out. So head on over to the actions tab in the top left corner. In order to add this, just go ahead and right click, click add, and then go ahead and name the action that you are building. Now, in order to capture the person that redeemed this channel point redemption, you're gonna go ahead and right click under sub actions. From here, you're gonna scroll down to Twitch and you're going to go to user. In user, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down to get user info for target. Under source type, we're just gonna go ahead and click user and then click okay. You should see a pop-up that says add target info from who redeemed. I personally want whenever this channel point is redeemed to change my entire scene so that way everyone can see what was screenshotted. And then I want it to automate and come back to the scene that I was on originally. So to start this off, right click and go to OBS. From here, you're going to click get current scene. From here, we need to set an argument so that it can reference where we're at in this scene. And that way it will know what to call back to afterwards. So right click again, go to core and go down to arguments. You're gonna go ahead and click set argument. For the variable name, you're going to type previous underscore scene. And for the value, you're going to type percent current, make sure you capitalize S in scene and then percent again and go ahead and click okay. Now we just need to add what scene we want to be active in OBS when the screenshot is taken. So right click, go to OBS and click set active scene. Go ahead and select that dropdown and just choose which scene you're wanting OBS to change to for the screenshot. From here, I added in a delay because I knew the minute someone redeemed this and I had to switch and transition to a new scene, it was going to take time and I didn't want the screenshot to go off in the middle of a transition or have it happen just a little too early. So in order to add a delay, you're just gonna go down to core and click delay. Something fun you could add in is a cool little sound effect. I wanted something to go on so that way chat knew that their redemption went through and also they can hear something when it's going on too and it just makes it more fun. So in order to add audio, if you are looking to, you just right click and go down to core and then go all the way down to sounds. From here, you're just gonna click play sound. Now make sure you uncheck this button right here because I have made this mistake so many times. You do not want this to finish playing playing before continuing. Click these little three dots and find which file you would like to play whenever this goes off. Go ahead and test this so that way you can see what it sounds like. Here's mine. Now we need the text to go through for who this is captured by. So if you are referencing the person who redeemed this channel point redemption, you're going to want to do this step. Go ahead and right click and go down to OBS. Now scroll down to sources and then look for set GDI text. Make sure you pick the scene and the source where this is all referenced and which text you want to pop up. And then under text, you're going to type what you would like this to look like whenever it is captured. For me, I want this to say captured by and then at the person who went and redeemed this channel point. So in order to do this, I put captured by and then I put in this variable right here, which is percent target user percent. Go ahead and click okay and add this in under your sub actions. Now, something to consider is that you probably want this text to appear when you're taking a screenshot and you want it to disappear when you're not taking the screenshot. So in order to do this, we're going to go ahead and right click, go to OBS and go down to sources. From here, you just go to set source visibility state. Once again, make sure you choose the correct scene and source that this text is on and then go ahead and click visible for what you want it to look like for the state. And then you can go ahead and test this to make sure it appears on your screen. You can kind of see it down at the bottom of my screen, even though the words are in white, it should be able to be slightly seen. So that way, you know, it works. Go ahead and click OK. All right, let's add in another delay by right clicking the delay we added in earlier and clicking duplicate sub action. From here, we just need to use that freeze filter plugin that I showed you earlier. And then the screenshot just needs to be taken and sent on over to Discord. So you're almost done. So right click and go to OBS and then scroll down to sources. 
In sources, we are going to look for the set source filter state. So you just choose your scene and your source that has the freeze filter on it, and then go ahead and choose the freeze filter from the different options under filter. And then just set the state to visible and you can go ahead and test this to make sure it's working. All right, let's add in another delay. From here, you just need to go ahead and take the screenshot. Now, in order to make OBS take this as a screenshot, I'm just gonna go ahead and right click, click OBS and go to take screenshot. This is where you need to make sure you have the correct scene and the correct source. So your source should be the scene we're referencing within the scene, if that makes sense. So make sure that you get both of these correct. And then from here, the file path is where this is going to show up as a screenshot on your computer itself. Once you've created a file or a folder, for all of your pictures to be saved to, you need to have a photo already referenceable. I don't know why it's this way. Nutty brought up a fantastic point in his tutorial. They should just make this simplified and you should be able to just choose the file or the folder. However, you actually have to have a PNG image and then click open in order for this to know where to go. Once you've added in a PNG image that you can reference and everything's supposed to be going from there, you can go ahead and click okay. So just make sure when you're adding this that you have the filter state being set before the screenshot is taken. After you've made the freeze filter visible, you're going to add another delay just because you want to give it a second to go ahead and be used and then take that screenshot. So add the screenshot after this. After the screenshot's taken, I went ahead and duplicated the source filter state, which was the freeze filter we added. The reason why you duplicate this is because if you double click into here, you can go ahead and change the state from visible to hidden. And this just makes everything a little simpler and easier when you're building this very long command. All right, let's add in another delay. Delay. After this delay, go ahead and click the OBS source visibility state where we made the person who redeemed visible. Right click that and duplicate this sub action. After it's duplicated, double click into here and change it from visible to hidden so that way it doesn't stay on the screen any longer than it needs to. Now in order to change back to the original scene you are on, go ahead and click this OBS set active scene and right click and duplicate sub action. When you double click into this, we're going to change the scene by referencing the argument that we did earlier. Now, in order to reference the right scene, you're just going to manually type it out in the scene section and type percent previous underscore scene percent and then click OK. So from here, let's add this into our Discord so that way the picture pops up at the very end for someone to enjoy their work. So right click and go down into integrations and then go to Discord and click basic webhook. You can name your webhook whatever you'd like or your username. Just make sure that you have the correct webhook URL. Now, if you don't know how to get this, you can get this in your Discord very easily. In order to put this in the correct space, choose the channel you want the picture to go to and click the little settings icon to the right of it. Just make sure you click copy webhook URL. So go ahead and search your computer for that image we referenced earlier in streamer.bot where all of your screenshots are going to go to. If there's anything you would like to be typed in here, you can go ahead and add it under content. But for me, I just leave it to the picture since I already have it referencing the person that redeemed the channel point redemption. So for webhook name, you do need to at bare minimum have a space in there, or you can just go ahead and name it something as well in order to proceed and click okay. So this is what the command looks like once it's built in streamer.bot. Now remember, if you wanted to add more green screen effects and stuff like that, your sub actions will look slightly different than mine, as you will see more sources being visible before the screenshot is taken and more sources being hidden after the screenshot has been taken. Now, in order to add this as a channel point redemption, go up here to triggers. Once you right click under triggers, you're going to click into Twitch. From here, we are going to add in a channel reward. And from here you click reward redemption. Now I'm going to be creating a brand new reward as this is something that we want to test from scratch. You can change the cost, you can let people know more about this redemption, and you can change the amount of uses per stream and per user per stream. Make sure you add a global cooldown on this, otherwise this is going to be spam used every single stream you go live. After you've checked enabled, you're gonna go ahead and click OK. So let's go test it. Now that we're back in OBS, you can test this by going to your channel point rewards and looking for the brand new one that you created and go ahead and click redeem here and then it's going to be like ta-da, yay.
All right, so I went ahead and just made a couple tweaks in what I was using in streamer.bot. One of the big things was I wanted the um, filter to last a little longer. I felt like it was a little quick. So I added in another delay in between taking the screenshot before it turns off the freeze filter state. On top of that, I also noticed something that was giving me so much trouble and something that I don't think a lot of people know. Click into your Discord basic webhook and make sure that you have no spaces under username. It was sitting there because I had a space and it was trying to figure out who took the photo and it would not post to my Discord. But just make sure there's no spaces where there shouldn't be, especially under username, or else you are going to sit there wondering why this is not working. Once you fixed all of that, as you can tell, I was testing this quite a bit over here. Let's go ahead and redeem everything and it'll work exactly like I planned. So click redeem and then pose for your photo. And from here, it'll save it on your screen for a little bit. And then it's going to bring me back to the original scene that I was on. So that way, you know, no matter where you're at in your game, or if you're in the middle of talking, it's going to bring you back into what you were doing before. And then if we head on over to our discord, yay, everything's working. You can see this beautiful image and how everything turned out. And it also tells you who it was captured by. Uh, you can change the font or the color of the font to something different if you want it to appear a little bit better on your screen. But normally I have mine full screen to look something more like this because it's simple and I like having the camera in full view instead of just having it be something small like this. So since we made a few different changes, I wanted to give you the updated version of what everything looked like in my sub actions after I tweaked and made sure everything looked a little bit better. So this is the final revision of the channel point redemption that I put out. So that way you can have it for next time. Hopefully this helps you with a little bit of some fun interaction for your chat in your next stream. As always, our signature sign off. Bye.